Do you want to know how David Goggins pushes his body to the absolute limit? Stay hard! Well, stretching is actually one of his secrets. Despite the incredible benefits of his stretching routine, he never really goes into very explicit details uh, about the stretches. In fact, finding specific details about them is darn near impossible. But fear not, as a diligent flexibility detective, I've scoured over 100 videos and articles to give you a comprehensive summary of 11 key stretches and specifically how to do them. With these Navy SEAL stretching routines, you can overcome your body pain, crush ultra marathons, and maybe, just maybe, even set some Guinness World Records records yourself, just like Goggins. Now, David Goggins' story is absolutely mind-blowing if you've never heard it. This man truly believes that stretching saved his life. And as you hear about the crazy challenges he's faced, you'll understand why he's so passionate about stretching. I saw this doc about eight years before this happened. And he was like, hey man, you're so fucking tight. I've never seen anybody in my life as tight as you. You need 50,000 hours of stretch. So I started stretching out one hour, hour and a half. So as muscles started getting more and more stressed out, more and more relaxed, and over a period of five years, I'm in the best shape of my damn life right now from stretching out. To understand why David's body needs such intense stretching, we must appreciate what he's been through. It all started when he shed a jaw-dropping 106 pounds in less than three months to qualify for the Navy SEALs. But that was just the beginning. Despite injuries and setbacks, David went through the notorious Navy SEAL Hell Week not once, but three times in a single year to finally earn his graduation. And David isn't just a military legend, he's also one of the world's top endurance athletes. He's conquered countless ultra marathons over 100 miles long, raced through mountains and deserts, and set a mind-boggling Guinness World Record by doing 4,030 pull-ups in just 17 hours. But all those superhuman feats started taking a toll on David's health. His body became stiff as a board, which messed up his blood flow in his entire body, and he even developed a weird bump on the back of his head from all the stress. And that is when he designed his stretching routine. Check out this crazy clip of him explaining how he discovered the life-changing power of stretching. My organs were pretty much shutting down. And I went from a guy who could run 205 miles to a guy who couldn't get out of bed. My body was just jacked up, couldn't sleep. My whole body was just down, shutting down. And I realized, man, my life is over. This is it. I saw this doc. And he was like, hey man, you're so fucking tight. I've never seen anybody in my life as tight as you. You need 50,000 hours of stress. You know, I worked out so hard, I didn't have time to stress. Man, I, was, I was running right. 150 miles a week. So I started stretching out one hour, hour and a half. I've, I've missed two days of stretching out in five years. That's so as muscles started getting more and more stressed out, more and more relaxed. And over a period of five years, I'm in the best shape of my damn life right now from stretching out. As you just saw, at the start of his stretching journey, even getting out of bed was a battle. His spine was compressed and he lost up to two inches in height. But by stretching his psoas muscle, aka the sole muscle, all that changed. At this point, David was stretching for a whopping eight to 12 hours a day. He gradually scaled it back to only six and then four hours, and now he religiously spends at least two hours every night stretching. This intense commitment to fixing his body, no matter what it takes, is frankly, for me, freaking inspiring. If this doesn't kick you in the ass to start your own stretching routine, you better check your pulse. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty details of David's stretching routine. First, he believes that the psoas muscle is the real MVP. He even claims it can help relieve anxiety and depression. And if that's true, damn, that's one powerful muscle. Although some will argue that the claim is a little woo-woo, I don't think David gives a bleep about your thoughts. Bottom line, if it works, it works. Beyond the psoas, in researching hundreds of interviews, articles, and videos, I found 11 other key stretches that David includes in his stretching routines. Neck stretches. To stretch your neck, gently move your head to each side, holding it there for as long as possible without discomfort. Start by bringing your ear close to your shoulder, lower your chin to your chest, and finally move your ear towards the other shoulder. David's favorite shoulder stretch is simply interlacing your fingers behind your back and raising your arms up as high as possible. This movement targets the shoulders and stretches the chest and biceps. Another shoulder stretch David does is holding his straight arm across the front of his body to target the rear delt muscle. Hold each position until it becomes uncomfortable and then rest and repeat. For tricep stretches, David uses the standard arm behind the head position, bringing one arm up and behind your head, and then use your other hand to pull the elbow toward the opposite side gently. 
One advanced variation I like is to use a band for deeper stretching. Hip and psoas stretching. One of David's main focus areas is the psoas muscle, which he stretches by kneeling on the floor with one knee down and the other up. Another modification he uses is reaching back to his ankle to add more stretching to his quadriceps. If you want to see an advanced version of this quad stretch, check out the video on my YouTube channel called The Best Damn Quad Stretch, period. Glute stretching. To stretch your glutes and hamstrings, sit on the floor, in a chair, or lie on your back. Cross one leg over the opposite knee and use your arms to pull the top knee closer to your body, creating a deep stretch. Hamstring stretches. Sit with your chest up and your spine straight, then reach towards your toes. This stretch targets your hamstrings in a nice, deep way. Calf stretching. David's favorite calf stretch involves using a board placed against a wall or the inside of a doorway at a 70 degree angle. Step onto the board with your heel on the floor and your toes at the top, allowing for a deeper calf stretch. Some other stretches that David mentions are Indian style sitting, the seated double quad prayer stretch, where you sit with your shins on the floor and your butt on your heels, and the butterfly stretch. So how long should you stretch for? Well, if you're Goggins, then eight to 12 hours is a good place to start. But if you're a mere mortal, 30 minutes daily would give you significant progress in 30 days. I call it the 30-30 breakthrough, and it's about the length of time I recommend in all my stretching and flexibility programs at gotrom.com. So there you have it, David Goggins and his intense stretching routines. I don't know about you, but even if you don't use these techniques to get through Navy SEAL training, I'm personally inspired to take my stretching game to the next level. What about you? Are you ready to stretch like Goggins? If so, check out Flexibility University at gotrom.com. It's a system of flexibility used by top athletes, Olympians, yogis, martial artists, and dancers, and it's backed by the latest cutting edge science of stretching and flexibility. So happy stretching, and remember, you're just one step away from building or rebuilding your perfect body. <laughs>